Hey, thanks for stopping by our channel. Today I'm going to be picking huckleberries and right behind me here in our front yard we have several huckleberry bushes. These are the red huckleberries and uh, once they start getting ripe the birds go after these things and they're gone pretty quick. So I may throw a net over this one and these so I can harvest these huckleberries. Here's a little sample of what's on there. They're really pretty. Uh, these aren't quite ready yet. Like I said, when they are ready, the birds are going to just go after them. So um, I do leave some for the birds. And there's a really big red huckleberry bush at the top of our steps here. So you can see those aren't quite ripe yet either. But this bush will fill up so I am leaving a nice uh, quantity for the birds to feast on and now I'm up here at our off-grid garden which is just up the hill from our cabin and there's also huckleberry bushes up here I'll show you here on the edge of the hill got one bush here and there there's a few on there and there's also one over here next to a pile of lumber that's that one's looking pretty good I also want to go around the corner we there's kind of a loop here above our cabin the road does a little loop we have another property at the far corner of that loop so I'm gonna go up there because I know I saw a really nice huckleberry bush up there that was pretty large so we'll go up this road here and go check that out and this property up here you can see the knotweed is just crazy tall and thick here so I'm gonna go around and go in on the other side of the property here. Okay, we'll go in right here. It's pretty overgrown, but we'll get up through here. Probably should have wore something besides my Crocs. So, oh, I did not know that this was a blue huckleberry bush also. That is awesome. So, blue huckleberry here. And what is this one over here? This one is a... Who knows? There is nothing growing on that. I don't see one berry on this thing. Huh. Okay. So... Bonus though, blue huckleberry plant. That is great. This is, we've only seen the one in our backyard and now this one. So I'm sure there's more up here, but it's about all we've seen. So I'm gonna pick these and then we'll head back to the cabin and pick the ones in the backyard. And you gotta see this huckleberry plant in the backyard of the cabin. It is just packed full of berries. I'm gonna use this knotweed leaf to try to contain these till I get back to the cabin. All right, I think we'll head back to the cabin. So now I'm in our backyard and uh, just spotted this other huckleberry bush here and it's really loaded, but that's in a real tough place to get because it's right on this little cliff here. So that might be something that the birds are gonna get, but that's a really nice bush there. And this is the bush that is just packed with the blue huckleberries. So I'm gonna remove this net and we will get these picked. I've been feeding the chickens huckleberries off and on, so they, they see me by this bush and they get excited.
Okay, so that's the haul from that one bush. Not too bad. So it looks like we got about four cups. So that is the most we've ever gotten off of that bush down there. So this has been a great year for these huckleberries. These will go in the freezer until Jen comes up here and then we'll make some uh, sourdough pancakes with huckleberries in them. So there's not a whole lot of berries to protect on that, but it's enough for uh, huckleberry pancake breakfast for Jen and I, so I'm gonna get some of those red huckleberries. Thanks for stopping by our channel. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you uh, want to see more stuff like this. It does help out our channel when you subscribe and when you comment and when you give a thumbs up. So we really appreciate that. Um, until next time, this is Jay at Almost Homestead. Thanks for watching.